I knew it were him the other day. How long has he been back? A month, he said. He's not been in touch with you? Well, you know what it's like when you move house. He said he's been a bit all over the place. Yeah, the place for yours, by the sounds of it. <laughs> Told Carla he's back, Janice. Oh, yeah. How to make friends and influence people. Morning. Um, I've had a few thoughts overnight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I remember Liam telling me about business contacts that he used. Oh, so, bang up to date, then. He did a lot of work for Silverton's. I'll take it over by Courtley's last year. But worth a try. And Frinton's, someone called Susie Presswick. Oh, hard lady to get hold of. Good luck with that. Well, what about up north textiles? Yeah, tell you what, love. You amuse yourself all you like by going round the houses if it makes you happy. Meanwhile, I'll go and tell the workforce the good news, yeah? Right, everybody, listen up. I'll get straight to the point. Due to circumstances beyond my control, I'm going to have to reduce your hours with immediate effect. What about that big order? Yeah, I'm going to work out exactly what this means this morning, and I'll... I'll talk to Hayley and she can tell you the details later, okay? I am really sorry. So we're going to get an explanation or what? It doesn't look like it. Well, someone's obviously messed up. I never rated Paula. Well, it might be Maria's fault. No experience thrown in at the deep end. Because you'd have done so much better. Yeah, we know. There's no point speculating. Well, what else can we do if they're not going to tell us? They're going on about reducing hours. I think they should sack someone instead. It'd be fairer. Who would you sack? Well, last in first day. It's usually quite a good rule in these cases. Nothing to do with me touching a nerve about Trevor, of course. Experienced machinists is what this place needs. Oh, like you, eh, Janice? Sitting on your backside, shouting the odds. That'll get us out of this fix, won't it? Hey, just get back to work before we're all on the street. I see. Um, well, you know, just to make contact for future business, maybe, or...? Right, OK, no problem. Yeah, nice talking to you. Bye. <laughs> Withdrawal of labour. I mean, it's the only language they understand. Well, do you honestly think that Carla's not doing everything she can to drum up business for us? Look, we've got some work, right? Well, she needs that to keep everything ticking over, don't she? But if we strike... There'll be nobody to do it, will there? So then she'll have to give in. I think we'd be pushing our luck. <laughs> I think we would. Well, at least let's give it a try. Come on. We can't be any worse off than we are now. I've been thinking, Janice. Maybe your idea's not such a bad one after all. What idea? You know, the one where we sack someone instead of reducing everyone's hours? In fact, you can go back now and clear your locker. What? You heard. Are we just talking? No. It's every time I come anywhere near you. You're either skiving or you're winding everybody up with your stupid gobby voice. Well, she's just letting off steam. Do you want to join her, Julie? No. In fact, if anybody else is thinking of striking, I just thought you should know we're this far away from liquidation. OK, so you walk now. That factory closes down for good. I guarantee that. Come up with anything? No. I've sat for Janice. Yeah, I did. She won't be the last the right way of going. Unless I apologise to Frank. <sighs> would it help you if I weren't here? No, what would help is if I knew what to say. I'm well, just telling you you want to see him. No, I'll say we want to see him. I'm not having him get the wrong idea. OK, we want to see him, but it's still going to be you he wants the apology from. Yeah, I know that. Hi, right, give me the number. Listen, and he won't get the wrong idea, cos he's not stupid. Well, listen, he'll know that we'll have discussed it and we'll have decided we need the order. Am I saying to meet us here or somewhere else? Up to you, that one. Here. Hiya, Frank, it's Maria. I'm not gonna look him in the face and say I'm sorry because I'm not. Hey, but you said... Yeah, I know what I said, Carla, and I shouldn't have. Right, OK, whatever you say, you don't have to mean it. But if I don't mean it, I can't say it. Yes, you can. You can, for my sake. For them lot out there's sake. 
He's here. Look, Frank, we don't want to lose the order. I think you know that. And I am sure you don't want the hassle of finding a new supplier. Well, let me just stop you there, Carla. I will go through whatever I have to sooner than be called the things I've been called. In fact, you're lucky I haven't put this in the hands of my solicitor. We're grateful you haven't. But can't we just forget this ever happened? Well, it's hard to just forget when the person responsible isn't saying very much. Isn't it just enough that she's not saying any of them things about you anymore? No. No, I think an apology is what's needed. Right, OK. Well, I'm sorry. Well, I was open for a bit better than that. I don't know why. It's an apology. It's a pretty poor specimen. Look, you want me to put all this behind me, right? Just forget it ever happened, fine, okay? But I want to know you have as well, Maria. Well, she has. Right, okay. Okay, I'm sorry for saying those things about you. I think we both... I think we both misread the situation. I don't think you can expect much more than that, really. Yeah, all right. Apology accepted. We're back in business. So as from tomorrow, it's all systems go. Oh, well, well done. <laughs> but yeah, that's great. I know. Well, it's all, hey, it's all down to this little lady here. Oh, really? Why? What did she do? I had to swallow that much pride and nearly threw up. So now I need a drink. Anyway, see who's over there. No, I hadn't. Hey, Trevor. I think I'll bump into you again. Hope it's not too upsetting for you. I hope it is. Come on, love, let's sit down. Charming. They'll be popping in every other day. Well, there's no reason why I should. Thought I might find you here. Oh, hello. Hello, you know Tracy? Of course they do. And I know them. I told Frank he only had to threaten to take his business away and you'd agree to anything. And who's done that? Well, you have, from what I've What just... we've agreed, all of us, is to forget the past and make sure we have a prosperous future. Oh, right. Right, I'd best be going. I've left Kurt babysitting. Yeah, but you'll stay and have a drink with us first, won't you? Come on, what's it to be? Where are you going with them? Up that flat for Shani. No, one will not. That Lizzie's best bro. Oh, Penny! It's OK! I'll do it. I can see you've got your hands full. Where are you going? Becky! Oh, you should have seen it. She just threw all of Lizzie's frocks onto the street. Ouch. Hi, Steve. 